Good morning everyone. Uh, today it is Monday and it's the start of a very very busy time up in Gauteng and I thank all of you that have sent me so many messages. In this video now I want to make one thing very clear and I want you to share this far and wide. There's been lots of fake news doing the rounds and I've been meaning to address this specific uh, but a fake news because it's very dangerous and this is uh, news in articles from dodgy websites that say that our elections will be postponed now just as you cannot just declare a state of emergency as the government you cannot just postpone elections as government this is impossible because our constitution determines how elections are held not the IEC or the government has any right to postpone elections and cannot and will not do so so it would have to be a, an extreme circumstance under a state of emergency for something like that to happen. So just understand that nowhere has the IEC ever said that the elections will be postponed. And anyone thinking that anything came from the IEC with regards to that, because we are in contact with them, those websites are lying and they are trying to distribute fake and false news and the reason why they're doing this is because people are trying to foment war in this country there's many groups that are trying to do this and I will do everything to stop that I'm not about war I'm about peace in this country and truth and truth will set you free just remember if you get any news from anywhere and you cannot verify it don't distribute it stop doing that please None of the Facebook groups that I'm involved in or pages will post anything that is fake news, that's not verifiable. So, with partic particularly thinking of the elections that's coming up next year, the local government elections, and the fact that government has said that they might want to combine local government and national elections, there's only one way this will happen. This is for the local government elections to take place and then it will take place again when national elections takes place. So it won't be postponed or left until the national elections. That will never happen because the constitution does not allow this and at this stage we are still a constitutional democracy. So stop putting out things that doesn't add up to the constitution. Yes, our constitution has flaws, but it is still the overarching law in the country. And all laws in the country can be tested against our constitution and this is how it should be. So just remember, no one has said that the elections must be postponed. No one is asking for it to be postponed. This is not true. What has happened is the national government has spoken about the national elections and the local government elections being combined. And the only way that that will happen is for us to have the local government elections and then we'll have it again when the national elections take place and then it'll continue like that from then onwards. So there will be no gap when no elections take place. I'll be contacting many people today, all the people that are interested in attending meetings and I really look forward to that. I will be shooting some videos today with Justice Killian that's going to be coming out here and I'm looking forward to some of the first live streams as well in future just to make one thing clear i will not go on anyone's channel on a live stream just for entertainment this is a waste of my time and completely and utterly pointless i need to stay focused on what i have to do and that is to meet with people and tell them the truth give them information that they can use in whichever way they want and give them a plan for their future where they can safeguard themselves against what is happening, not only in our country, but in the rest of the world. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you. This is the only way to do this. And as I meet with you, it'll become clear why I need to have these meetings. And thank you once again to everyone that is supporting this journey. And at this stage, I will be in Gauteng on the 29th. And from there, I will travel wherever I see fit and where there is a need at the time. So we will take it as it comes. The demand at this stage is huge across the country. So at this stage, we could probably travel indefinitely till the end of the year. It will be a long process. We'll have to go back to Cape Town uh, along the way for obvious reasons because we plan at this stage to, to leave for, for a month period. It might extend to two months. We'll see. 
but at this stage I'm really happy that there's been such a huge demand for people to hear what I have to say for those people especially that have watched my videos online and have used that platform to gain more information I will give you a lot more information in the meetings very pertinent information that you need to make decisions in your life uh, there will be more videos coming out today and I really thank you for sharing these videos please subscribe if you have not click the bell icon to get notifications for new videos many of you have missed out on videos you can go back to the playlist I put all my videos in playlists you'll be able to find them there and the playlists are specific to specific topics so once again thank you very much for sharing the videos keep on sharing keep on subscribing and thank you to all those who have made this road trip possible the account details I've left uh, since a month ago in the description underneath the videos as well as the about section of the video and people have contributed to make this possible and as long as you continue to do that I will be able to be on the road and meet with you and I've committed to doing that until we have a new governance system in place. Thank you very much till the next video.